Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we started following a journey to make $1 million in a thousand days. Learned the difference between an IDE and a text editor and how many coding languages we should learn. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about. But there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, TypeScript 4.4 was released, Mongoose version 6.0, and Node.js version 16.8. On to the VS Code extension of the week. There were a couple of great SAS videos this week, so I thought it would be fitting to include a SAS VS Code extension this week. If you use SAS, you have to install this VS Code extension Live SAS Compiler. This extension will compile your SAS files into CSS files in real time. But when you search in the VS Code Marketplace, you'll notice that there are two extensions named Live SAS Compiler. The one with 1.5 million downloads is the original, but uses an older version of SAS and hasn't been updated in three years. The one that you want to install is the one from Glenn Marks. He forked the original work and updated it to use the most updated version of SAS. You'll need this one to take advantage of the latest SAS features. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. RTC is back. Real Tough Candy took a short break from YouTube, which is good. We all need to take breaks from time to time. She refocused and in this video, she reviews the platform zero to mastery.io from Andre Nagoy. Should you learn to code from this platform? We'll check out the video to see what RTC has to say. Next up, the Net Ninja starts a new series. This one is all about SAS. You'll learn how to make your own CSS library using SAS. And we have another SAS video. This one is from Jessica at Coder Coder. She explains the new at use rule and at forward rules in SAS, which are replacing the old at import rule. If you're going to use SAS, you'll need to learn about these changes. Next up, Florin Pop decided he's going to challenge himself to make $1 million in 1,000 days. Be sure to follow his journey. Recently, Anya Kubo said goodbye to VS Code and hello to WebStorm. And because of this, many are wondering if WebStorm is better than VS Code or if VS Code is better than WebStorm, but you really can't compare the two as a whole. They may have similar features, but one is an IDE and the other is a text editor. They both do their jobs very well. So what's the difference between an IDE and a text editor? Check out this video from Anya to find out. If you want a really quick front end roadmap to become a web developer in 2021, check out my latest shorts video and save it for reference as you keep learning. What is technical debt? Ariane Codes explains it in this video and shares five tips to keep technical debt under control. Next up, Tech with Tim covers five bad Python practices that you should avoid. Most of these are things that seem okay, but they can lead to problems later and can make code look messy and unreadable. How many programming languages should you learn? Well, just one, and maybe it should be C. That's what Forrest Knight says. Watch this video to see why. In the latest Learn with Jason episode, Jason Langsdorf has Otto Kukuk on to demonstrate how easy it is to get a database up and running on MongoDB Atlas. They load some sample data, demonstrate Atlas search, and deploy an application. Go check it out. And in the latest episode of the MongoDB Jumpstart series, I build out the front end of our e-commerce application in Next.js, including all of the components, product pages, and style everything using Tailwind CSS. And we use MongoDB Realm serverless functions to bring in all of our data. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on CSS Tricks was an introduction to the solid JavaScript library. And with this library, you can create user interfaces without a virtual DOM. And for podcasts, go check out the latest syntax episode where Scott and Wes talk about advice for new devs and how to level up. On Instagram, I came across this post from Web of Riddick, five best animated icon sites. If you're looking for some animated icons, go check out this post. And if you want to learn how to code on a 1% keyboard, Go check out Flipworks on TikTok. Again, all of the links to the content mentioned are in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. I hope that this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.